Hey, what's going on guys? John here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of plosives specifically on microphones. So I have a SM48 here. If you're wondering why I have the SM48 and not the 58, well, I'm pretty cheap and I wanted to save $50. But nonetheless, this is notorious of getting plosives. What plosives are, are the P's when they peak because the impact of your voice into the microphone kind of peaks in p -p -p pork. This is how you get rid of those inside Premiere Pro. So let's dive in here. So I have an audio file. This is for plosives. This is how to get rid of plosives inside of audio files where, so you can kind of see um, the P's when I speak, they kind of pop. And this happens when you don't have a filter in between your voice and the microphone. So this is very common with uh, like the SM58s, 48s and whatnot. So inside Premiere Pro, how do we get rid of these? So the best way is to kind of change the audio samples and to kind of keyframe around the P's to make them softer. So here's an example here. What we'll do is go to the hamburger menu on the timeline. We'll go to show audio time units. And what this allows you to do is really zoom into the samples. So instead of displaying the timeline in frame rates, you're displaying them in sample rates. So, you know, there's 48,000, for example, instead of 24 frames a second. This is for pl This is for pl So like close. So what we'll do is get the pen tool and what we'll do is kind of make a keyframe to make it softer around those areas. You might want to expand the clip and what you can do is make it bezier and kind of make it a little smoother around those transitions. Keyframes. Plosive, plosive, plosive. We're just bringing down where the P's are, essentially. Plosives, this is how to get rid of plos. That's a big one right there. And if you zoom in, you can kind of see where the peak is right there. Plosives and rid of plosives inside of audio files where you know there's P's and the there's P P's and P's and and there's P's and so you can kind of see how that works. It makes it softer because when you lower that, the P's aren't as aggressive. So this is probably the best way to get rid of plosives inside Premiere Pro. It's very time consuming, but this is probably the best way that I have found so far. I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you're looking to get rid of plosives or at least minimize them inside Premiere Pro. Feel free to like, subscribe to the channel if you like these short little video tutorials on how to do video production, audio, and after effects and all that stuff. So feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.